Not a Tesla fanboy. I'm not a Tesla fanboy. I'm not a Tesla fanboy. I'm wearing the shirt, aren't I? Son of a bitch! Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be talking about the white seats of the Tesla Model 3. Now, I know a lot of you guys that are on the fence about buying a car for yourself, you don't know if the white seats are going to be durable enough, if they're going to show blue jean transfer. There's so many questions that you have, and hopefully this video will answer that. Now I know you've seen the other videos out there by other YouTubers where they're spilling all sorts of things on the seats and wiping it up and you know setting them on fire and wiping off the charcoal remains with a baby wipe. This is not going to be that video. This is going to be a completely honest video about the white interior seats. Alright so this is the interior of my 2019 Tesla Model 3 and uh, this is the white interior. Everyone calls these like a vegan leather. Um, they are not leather at all. Uh, it is a polyurethane. They are very soft and super comfortable. So you don't need to worry about it feeling plasticky or cheap. Um, I've got a friend that just bought an Infiniti Q50 and his seats are made out of the same material. So this isn't just a Tesla thing. This is kind of across the board. A lot of other companies are going this way. Um, one thing to note, they are mostly covered in this material, but if you actually look on the side here, this is fabric. So uh, be careful if you spill any drinks down the side here because it can stain this fabric area that's not going to easily wipe up like the, the surface material here. Uh, the door cards here also have the same material here and they have the same soft touch as the seats. Uh, the dash, however, this is a hard surface. Uh, I'm not sure what that's made out of. It doesn't feel like plastic, but it uh, it is definitely a hard surface. If any of you guys out there know what this is made out of, Go ahead and comment below but it is very smooth to the touch there is no um, there's nothing like um, little pits in it kind of like the wood grain and the black interiors it's kind of got a texture to it and this has no texture at all it's very smooth and uh, they, they you know the seats feel just like the black ones there's no difference between the black and white as far as the material other than the color uh, how do I know because I've got black in the armrest here and it feels the same way. This is uh, the same uh, armrest in all the Model 3s. And uh, in fact, the only leather that's in the car at all is going to be your steering wheel. And that is uh, basically because of the oils in your hand can really damage a lot of materials and the uh, polyurethane for whatever reason uh, it's just not uh, strong enough to withstand a lot of the oils that can mess things up um, I know that uh, Elon was making comments about that and I think they are trying to go that way they are eventually going to have an uh, I guess a vegan leather type of steering wheel but for the time being uh, it's from what I've been told this is this is actual leather so how are you supposed to clean these well according to the owner's manual here for the polyurethane seats you're supposed to just use warm non detergent uh, soapy water uh, with like a uh, some sort of a microfiber towel just something to uh, clean them up real good that's not going to damage any of the material um, I'm assuming these have some sort of a UV coating on them just to kind of make them last longer uh, in between deep cleans I do use the baby wipes I just keep them in my glove box uh, and it works out for me because I do have kids that are in the back seat that are always making messes and 
Um, these are dual purpose, so I can, you know, clean their hands with this. If there's any spills on the seat, I can do a quick wipe up and uh, it wipes up pretty clean. No, no issues at all. So a lot of you guys are asking about blue gene transfer. Well, you're talking to the right guy because I'm the most blue genius genie guy that you'll ever meet. I wear jeans in the summer, jeans in the winter, all the time. So if I was more blue genie, I'd be in an Aladdin character. All right, so as you can see, I'm wearing blue jeans. I always wear blue jeans. This is uh, some blue jean transfer in here. Uh, it does have a slight bluish tint to it when you look up close. From a distance, you can't tell at all. It looks white, but when you get up close, yes, you can see some blue jean transfer. Um, not so much on the passenger side, uh, just because there's not a lot of passengers all the time. My wife wears blue jeans occasionally, um, but not enough to show like mine does. So what I'm gonna do is uh, start off with just a baby wipe and start wiping these. I, I do keep these clean pretty regularly. So this isn't a lot of uh, transfer, but it is enough to show. Um, and what else I wanna show you here is some of the wear marks. I've had this car for about two and a half months, almost three months. And you can see the striations here of just the wear of getting in and out how it crinkles up the material and shows some of this. It looks like it's cracking, but it's not. It's still smooth to the touch, just like everything else. It just has this appearance of these striation marks um, from getting in and out of the car. You're not gonna see it on the other side as much just because there's no wear of getting in and out like that. This is. 100% from getting in and out of the car. So I'm just using baby wipes to kind of wipe these off. Using moderate pressure. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks like it's cleaning up pretty nice. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. There's definitely some uh, blue jean transfer there. You see my finger outline. That is just dirt and blue jean. It has a blue tint to it. So the baby wipes definitely do work. Um, Tesla owner manual just says use any kind of non-detergent type of soap and warm water. And that's what I, I use um, when I'm doing more of a thorough detailing of the car. Okay. So I'm pressing harder on the sides here. And those striation marks that I was showing you earlier are slowly disappearing. Okay, so this is after I wiped it with baby wipes. You see those striation marks are no longer there. And a lot of the blue gene transfer is gone. Uh, this is good enough for me for right now. Like I said, if I do a more thorough cleaning of the car, I'll use the warm soapy water. And uh, that does, to be honest, it does equally as well. It's just these are a lot more convenient. I've already got them in the car because, like I said, I have kids. So they work great. Um, you know, everything else is pretty, pretty easy to, to take care of. See, even on this outer side. That's cloth down here. Just be careful about spilling anything down the sides of either side because it's gonna be cloth at the bottom. And uh, that's not impossible to clean off. It just makes life a lot more difficult to clean them. And in fact, get back in the car here. Let me go to the owner's manual. Go back to my cleaning. I'll touch the screen here. Cleaning the interior. All right, so even for cloth seats, which I know they don't have, but they had talked about having cloth seats at one point for the standard range. Um, it's basically the same thing. Soft cloth moistened with warm water and non-detergent soap, then dry with a soft lint-free cloth. So yeah, I mean, 
pretty easy to, to take care of. So my official verdict on the white interior is that I really like it and that's why I ordered it in the first place. I love how the white interior just reflects light all across to where it just makes it brighter and open and airy feeling in here. If you watch other YouTube videos where they're reviewing Model 3s, pay attention to the ones that have the white interior versus the ones that have the dark black interior. They both look fantastic, but you'll notice that the white one just looks more spacious, it looks more open, uh, it's just brighter and, and it's cleaner looking. Doesn't mean it is cleaner, it just looks cleaner because everything's just pristine. So. My advice to you is choose your interior the same way you choose your exterior. And what I mean by that is know that if you're going to get a white interior, don't fall into these lies that, oh, everything just cleans up and it's so easy to take care of. No, you're going to have to put some effort into it. You're going to have to keep them clean. I wipe mine down at least once, maybe two weeks and they seem to be holding up pretty well. I've only had the car for about three months now, so, you know, this is kind of expected. Now, I may do a, I may do a follow-up video in a year just to show you how they've held up over the past year, but for now, on three months of wear, and I've, I'm at over 5,000 miles on this car, so I drive it quite a lot. So, it's pretty, uh, pretty durable, but don't fall into the lie that you can just spill anything on it and it's just going to wipe right up. You're going to have a little bit of effort trying to clean things off of it, but so far I haven't had any catastrophic spills or damages or anything like that. They're holding up really well. Everything that I've spilt on them have wiped up really easily. Um, they look nice and like I said, treat it like your exterior. If you don't want a white exterior because you think it's going to show too much dirt and it's going to be too hard to clean all the time, then don't get the white interior because it's the same philosophy. Yes, it's going to show whatever you spill on it and you're going to have to wipe it off uh, regularly. Black hides a lot more stuff uh, unless you're talking about the center console here because I can see all the dust particles on this. Uh, my armrest is black and I see lint and dust on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is, is the black any easier to hide the dirt and dust or is it to uh, show off a lot of the white little fuzzies and lint dust particles and all that uh, just as much as the white? Maybe the white is hiding more than I can see. So I want you guys to talk to me here. Leave comments below. Is there a certain product that you like to use on your interiors to, to clean off the seats? Are there any tips or tricks that you've found? I'm just showing you what I've found and what my honest opinion of the, the seats are. They are durable. Yes, you're going to have to clean them. But um, I think the effort is worthwhile because they're beautiful. They make the car look so much brighter, uh, cleaner. I have not had any issue with the glare off of the white uh, front console area here on the dash. Some people on the internet have complained about there being a glare with the dash. I haven't found that yet, and I'm trying to be 100% honest with you here. I'm not going to just tell you everything is great because I spent a lot of money on a car and I want to make my purchase sound like I made the right decision. It's not everything is perfect, but I have not had any glare issues off the dash. That's just my opinion. If you are having an experience like that, I would recommend getting a matte 3M type of finish uh, wrap to put on top of the white. That way the white still shines through it, but it has a matte finish to not uh, reflect sunlight and things like that. I may do that if I ever run into that issue, but right now everything's been been fine. So, so I hope this video helped you make a decision on if you want to get white interior or black interior. It is going to take a little effort, but it's totally worth it. I would not freak out over having to clean the interior of the car so much. It's not a big deal really, for me anyways. 
But if you're the type of person where you just don't have a lot of time, then maybe you should just get the black and not worry about it. It's, you know, worry free and you just be on your way, clean it whenever you want. The white will take a little bit of effort, but it's not a big deal at all. Just wipe it down every week or two. You won't have any issues at all. If you think you're ready to order a Tesla for yourself, I'll leave a link below where you can use my coupon code and that will give you a thousand miles of free supercharging. Comes in really handy, guys. So if you found this video useful, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to keep seeing more videos like this with honest reviews, please consider subscribing. We'll take this EV journey together. Take care, guys. Bye. I really do like this matte screen protector from Abstract Ocean. If you saw my last video, I installed this and I've just been testing it out for the past couple weeks. I really do like it. It's very responsive, smooth to the touch. Uh, it does reduce the glare from the sunlight and a lot of uh, the fingerprints that collect on the screen. I really like it. Uh, I contacted Abstract Ocean to see if they would be interested in offering a coupon code for my subscribers and they were gracious enough to let me have one. So if you use coupon code because Tesla, you will get 15% off your first order of anything in the store. Take care guys.